Greetings and salutations, exiles. I'm doing quite a few video uploads today. It's the weekend, and so I've been kind of been hammering out some of the content that I was passively thinking about over the week. And, um, you know, I did some, got onto the, um, you know, single player admin mode. You know, they don't, I don't have access to the, um, the developer toolkit. So I have to, that's just, you know, another word for saying, um, you know, unlimited access, but I can still get into single player mode and then go admin. And that will, uh, that'll give me the ability to summon stuff without crafting it or taming it. And so it's, it's like a go between it's halfway there. It's not quite full functionality, but it's probably 75, 80%. And, um, you know, I'm not able to change certain preferences or tool sets, but, um, the good thing is, is that I'm kind of able to explore. This guy looks, this is like a queen here. What is this? That's a boss. Is that a world boss? Uh, and my bandit leader has the wrong tool. Uh, duh. Run away. Run away. Run away. So anyways, back to my, um, back to my, they've done a great job with kind of retooling some of these, um, there you go. So rule number one, ah, oh, he's still in combat. Rule number one, never change your thralls weapon while he's in combat because you will glitch him out. And he will not function properly for for the entirety of the server reset day. Like, it, you won't get him back to normal until the server's reset and it clears all their script. Okay. So, I, I want to kill this guy, but I got to get him far enough away to... Uh... Okay, now take the truncheon down and now I can equip a weapon. Okay, now we're golden. Okay, and then back to daggers. Boom. All right. So I'm going to go kill this guy. So anyways, back to my original topic before I got distracted by, by shiny bosses. The, um, you know, developing a lot of content over the last couple days, getting into single player mode. I, I you know, I, I was thinking passively about some of the stuff and, I, you know, about some of their development and des design choices. And they've done, the Swede has done such a great job on, uh, when I, I talk about Robert. Robert is the, the new, I guess, the lead on um where's he at there he is the, the new lead on the direction of conan and he's he he's basically the inspiration on what what's been taking place um oh get out of get i gotta move i gotta be careful with this guy like it's crazy if i have him as a pet he just doesn't do that good a damage but for whatever reason his poisons are pretty brutal on my on my uh on my thrall okay so i got my 20 stacks i'm immediately go into healing because i want to keep my i want to keep my thrall healed up i don't even want to get him below half life that's a bandit leader so that's uh wow those those that poison is on my thrall is just is just eating him up i've i've had these before as pets and they're um they're okay, you know. Ultimately, like a berserker, just does so much raw alpha damage. They're a they're a better companion, um, but you do get the increased. You do get the increased. Um, let's go back to healing arrows. You kind of got to, You know, it's a certain play style. I I opt for a vitality build with a companion versus raw damage. I like the I like the utility of it versus. Um, I still still going and then back to I usually don't bust out my bandit leader because I only have one or two left on this server but uh, I ha oh I'm stuck okay go run away ooh look at that hard hit hard hit and a poison and that's almost maxed out vitality too wow if I if I didn't have a vitality build that would have killed me uh, seven let's, let's go back he's half right I don't even want to mess. Don't even want to play. I'm going to try to stack stack the hills. And I got to be... I'm trying to get a little piece of that hill. Do I... I don't have any bleeds on him. I need to get the bleeds going. An issue that I've been... That I've noticed is that... Um, it's hard to maintain... Oh, I'm not healed the way that I thought I was. It's hard to maintain the bleeds. 
and now getting the double heal. Oh, so, so this his poison is um, keeping me from healing. Just a little little abstract there. Got a little help from. Uh, Man, it's just, it's just annoying as hell. Okay. Yeah, would this would have been a lot better with, but he's blocking the attacks. Look at him. He's blocking the attacks. A little, little server lag there. Look at that. Just so nasty. And it's like, it's like an interrupt. I gotta get the, um, see, I gotta be careful because now he's over there and he's gonna charge me. If I, um, I, w I probably should have some, so I don't want to get, I don't want to trigger that second, um, I'm curious if he's going to be a key or a fragment of power. I'm hoping he's a fragment of power because some of these legendaries you get out of these keys, they're, they're dated. They're, um, they're not, they're not any good anymore. And so I've just been dischanting him if it'll let me. I gotta say, uh, for a boss though, so yeah, he's a he's a he's a key. Yeah, he's a key, and there's also some, um, well, quite a bit of ichor. Quite a bit of ichor. I think the ichor is actually worth it. Let me go back. Um, I need to make some poisons. What do you got? I gotta get rid of all my excess weight. Okay, and then how's he on? He's good. Okay. So back to my my original my original topic about you know developing content, um, I realize that this has kind of become a sidetracked kind of ramble, um, but I've un I've uncovered a few unique items that I haven't seen anywhere on the web because of my kind of critical systematic way of uh, um, processing information, and I I wanted to share with you like two concepts of of teaching somebody. Many of you know this. Um, one way is the kind of the direct approach where you you basically say here's 12 volumes study memorize boom you know and then there's the indirect approach where you uh, briefly discuss the topic and it's like you're planting a seed you know you say uh, yeah the earth is round and then you you know that's that's the extent of it and they they subconsciously think about that over a period of a week or two weeks and they come back and you're like yeah did you know that the curvature of the earth starts at 14 miles and then you you know you let a week or two go by and then you're like yeah um that's why when you look across the ocean and it that that conversation evolves uh, like like wine you know it evolves and matures and festers or it grows and it it it, it uh i think fester is the wrong word but it it turns into something like it grows into a tree um, and it kind of shapes shapes the thought process. It's a deeper more. And so that's kind of the way that I view my content is um, I think about it as as more of a it's, it's just not a, uh, a simple. I know I say a lot of us and I apologize for that. You know, there's a lot more depth to it. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to close it here. Uh, it also on a side note, I'll post a lot of videos and I'm not, I'm not trying to cram like an exorbitant amount of content. I'm not, I'm not trying to pick up subscribers. I'm not monetizing. I'm not trying to get, I'm really trying to flush out some of this content for, uh, friends and family. You know, I got a bunch of friends and family who play and so they can watch this at work. Um, and so some of this content is, is purpose driven and, it's not the the status quo of you know like a YouTuber who's trying to get twelve thousand views. Um, so I, I hope I hope that you know oh look a little cheetah cheetah pet. Um, I hope that doesn't um, you know that kind of gives you some explanations on the, on the volume of videos as I'm I'm trying to kind of complete uh, 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 some work. Um, I'm trying to. Um, finish of a body of work. I think that makes sense, and and so that way, if I stop making the content, at least at least it's flushed out, right? At least it's flushed out, and it's not half-assed or half done. And so uh, you can always go back and watch some of this. A lot of this will be relevant in a year, and some of it won't be. You know, as they've uh, Rob has done a really good Robert has done a really good job 
on um man, that thing's nasty like the bleed on that thing is just so aggressive i'll do a video on um pets and i'll do a video on kind of kind of prioritize them on which ones to get and which ones to get uh was kind of avoid and the reason my logic will be behind it will be mainly to um purpose driven you know they, they're you got to think about them like they're tools and tools have specific jobs that they do and so with um pets and thralls kind of fall into that same realm so always uh you know a criticism is welcome thank you for watching